My name is JJ. How you doing? So if you're standing, uh, just get close to whatever wall. I'm using this wall, pause, and this wall for now. And what you're gonna do is put your hand against it, but don't push into it too too hard. Is that we're gonna shift towards almost in a circle out while rotating the hand and then ever so slightly try to reach it with the others. It's kind of hard to speak. If you don't want to do that complicatedness, this part of your palm needs to be touching the wall. And what you're going to do is twist and meet it on the other side. From here, you can either feel around, move around, have a feel for it. If you want to try to get into the bridge position from here, all you're going to do is try to walk slowly out while pressing against the wall. As you can hear, I'm having a trouble time speaking. <sighs> and then you hold it for time. Same on this side. One hand, the other hand, and walk out. <sighs> I'm gonna do my best now in a lower angle. Just put one hand, the other. You can even do it if you want to sitting just to get the the upper body feel for it really engaging everything for the twisting variation you're putting one hand on the wall whichever one you prefer and then slowly as you're twisting away from your hand swivel it so that it's upside down and then meet your hand across on the other side. If for whatever reason you still are like, JJ, I thought you said this was for beginners. That was obviously super advanced and too twisty, swifty, <laughs> twisty, swifty. Oh, I got you. What you're gonna do is Lie on the ground, lift your knees up, and then try to get your hips all the way to the sky, like so. This is a low bridge for hip thrust, which will help strengthen not only your glutes and hamstrings, but also your lower back, and obviously, help you progress into the bridge. With this one, the tendency is to just go through the motions and not really think about getting your hips up from the get-go. I'm telling you, you'll feel the difference. When you're bringing your hips up, and squeezing at the top, make sure you squeeze together, and then actively somehow think, okay, I gotta keep my butt squeezed all the way down. Again, squeeze going up, hold it at the top for a split second, and then coming down, you're still squeezing, still squeezing, still squeezing. <sighs> It's going to be a whole different feel. Just like with the plank and or the crawl, you can hold it for time, make it 15 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute. Or if you're feeling very adventurous, as I like to say, you can try making it a descending pyramid where you hold it for, for, for five minutes, but every 15, 
15 seconds. So 45 intervals, you, you hold it. And then 15 seconds, you do say five of the intentional hip thrusts and then get right back into it, holding for 45, moving for 15. If you had fun with that one and you liked the tip that I said about squeeze and want to hear more tips, you're definitely going to have fun with this next video right here.